President Donald Trump is holding a campaign rally in Mesa tonight at the Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport to encourage supporters to vote for Republicans in the midterm elections, including Arizona Senate candidate Martha McSally. Trump previously rallied at Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport in December 2015. His most recent rally in Arizona during summer 2017 ended in chaos, as police in riot gear deployed tear gas and pepper balls on demonstrators who had amassed outside of the Phoenix Convention Center. Follow Phoenix New Times all night for the latest updates on the rally, his speech, and the aftermath, 7.40 p.m. The president stops talking as soon as Trump finished his speech. Music was piped into the hangar, the song by the Rolling Stones, You Can't Always Get What You Want. The Stones' Mick Jagger has asked the president to stop using the band's music. 7.14 p.m. Outside the airport, Trump supporters showed their support for Judge Kavanaugh. 7.10 p.m. Stumping for Martha McSally. Trump said a vote for Congresswoman McSally will be the second greatest vote you have ever cast. The greatest was for me, he also criticized McSally's opponent, Democratic Congresswoman Kirsten Sinema, she voted to support deadly sanctuary cities. And a vote for Kirsten Sinema is a wasted vote and moreover it's a dangerous vote because it could return Democrats to power in the Congress. McSally also gets the name wrong of deceased Mesa police officer SGT. Brandon Mendoza, 7.03 p.m., Martha McSally comes out immediately calling out Kirsten Sinema. 7 p.m., Trump claims early votes show McSally in the lead. We did some fact-checking and found nothing to support this claim. Trump says the early voting shows that Martha McSally is way ahead, I could be wrong, but I don't think they have released any early voter info yet. A few minutes in, Trump pushing hard for votes for Republicans in November, they're all talking about as. The president brought the partisan crowd to their feet when he said, this November, vote for the jobs, not the mobs. Then he took a shot at potential rival Elizabeth Warren, a Democratic senator, who recently took a DNA test that showed she had only a tiny percentage of Native American ancestry. We can no longer call her Pocahontas, she has no Indian blood, we'll have to come up with another name for her, 6.44 p.m. The president has arrived expand the crowd is fired up as they await their president. Jim Luvo 6 18 p.m. What's that smell? The smell of horse manure, animals is wafting through the press area and I'm guessing the rest of the hangar too, at the. It is rocking through the speakers. The sun has finally gone down and it's cooling off. Trump scheduled to speak soon pick.twitter.com slash nrk7x83x5v Elizabeth Whitman at Elizabeth Whitty October 20th 2018 6.02 p.m. Ducey praises booming economy Arizona Governor Doug Ducey urged the crowd to support down-ballot Arizona Republicans in the midterms. Today, under President Trump, our economy is booming thanks to historic tax reform, Ducey said. He said that Trump is wiping away useless regulations and has set the American economy free. Ducey raised the specter of activist judges and said that they are grateful for Supreme Court Justices Brett Kavanaugh and Neil Gorsuch, both Trump appointees. The governor also gave a shout-out Senate candidate Martha McSally, a former combat fighter pilot. McSally has been fighting for her country her entire life, Ducey said. Who better to send to Washington, D.C., to straighten out politicians than a fighter pilot, Ducey asked. In the end, Trump was still nowhere close to taking the stage by the time Ducey's speech was over and the governor left the stage, 5.35 p.m., Andy Biggs warns, it's jobs or mobs, Arizona Congressman Andy Biggs, who represents the 5th District, where the rally was held on Friday, took to the stage after Republican Secretary of State candidate Steve Gaynor and Arizona Republican Party Chairman Jonathan Lines. Biggs listed President Trump's accomplishments. He said that President Trump was the most pro-life president in history, plus the economy has more people working than ever before. We're rebuilding the military that Obama decimated, Biggs said. He said that Congress needs to pass a bill Biggs introduced to build the border wall, to which the crowd responded with a chant. Biggs said they need Martha McSally in the Senate and to keep the House of Representatives red.
He ran down a list of Republican nightmares if Democrats take the House, impeaching Trump, abolishing ICE, buoying people like Nancy Pelosi and Maxine Waters, it's jobs or mobs, Big said. 4.51 p.m., the stage is set, and so is the music. 4.26 p.m., protesters from both sides are lining up outside Mesa Gateway Airport. 3.50 p.m., Mesa police tweet that all the parking has gone. 3 p.m., watch this reminder of Trump's last visit to Phoenix.